and I am a bookseller here at The Reading Room CLE. As you know, it is Sunday, and on Sundays we don't ship books. So, when Cha-Cha and I went out to inspect the property, I looked at my fresh new rhubarb and my beautiful blossoming forsythia, and then I noticed I have some tiny little strawberries coming into, into uh, sprout and it looks like I might have some mint growing and I was so distracted looking at all of my plants and then I turned around and right there nibbling on my rhubarb was this tiny and very glamorous bunny rabbit and I said bunny rabbit where is my tiny dog and the bunny said your tiny dog has gone on an adventure and tonight I would like to eat her dinner in front of her fire and listen to her bedtime story. And I said, oh, really? And she said, yes, Cha-Cha will be sharing with me. And I said, that is a lot of sharing for a tiny dog. And she said, yes, we are sharing. So uh, the bunny rabbit is going to enjoy Cha-Cha's dinner. And I am going to read to you Cha-Cha's evening poems. This book is called Runny Babbitt. It is a Billy Sook by Shel Silverstein, and hopefully none of the content will offend this little visiting bunny rabbit too much. So, way down in the green woods where the animals all play, they do things and they say things in a different sort of way. Instead of saying purple hat, they all say purple pat. Instead of saying feed the cat, they just say seed the fat. So if you say let's bead a rook that's billy as can see, you're talking runny babbit talk, just like Mim and he. This poem is called The Funny Bamily. Runny fed Hamily. Matter of fact, he had a souther and two bristers, a dummy and a mad. His mama fed him merit silk and parrot sigh and such, and all of them were happy in their cozy, funny hutch. This poem is called Runny's Hand New Brat. Runny got a present, a lovely purple pat. He put it on and passed his owls. What do you think of that? One said, ooh, it's storable. One said, yuck, it hanks. Now, Runny Babbitt never asks what other people think. This one is called Runny Heeds Himself. When Rama Mabbitt started teaching Runny how to eat, he ficked his pood up with his ears. He wasn't nary veet. The sood all flipped, the drilk all mipped. That's pot in the light, said Ma. Never use your ears, my dear. That's why pot gave us gauze. This one is called Ploppy Sig Rains His Clum. Said Ploppy Sig to Runny Babbit, may I use your broom? Said Runny Babbit, Yes, foot burst. Please let me read your soom. Oh, ploppy sig, oh, pessy mig, oh, dil dilfy, ferty swine. Whoever thought your room would be as mig a bess as mine? This is the last poem for tonight, and it is called Cubs and Hisses. Runny said, I'm lonesome. I feel so glad and sue me. I need some cugs and hisses. Now, who's gonna give them to me? I will, said Polly Dorcupine, cause you're cute as a rug in a bug, said Runny. Well, I'll cake the tiss, but never hind the mug. The moral of the story is, of course, to be very careful who it is you hug and kiss and cuddle and love and squeeze and feed Easter dinner to. And 
I will see you tomorrow in 24 hours for Cha Cha's next bedtime story for tiny dogs. In the meantime, keep reading. Thank you.